and I'm so delighted to see everyone here. And I know we're going to have a lovely day. There is a beautiful display of art in the back. You should take the time to look at each piece because there's some remarkable work. There will be some performances uh, as we go on. Um, the scribes are working out in the vestibule and uh, they're doing some lovely things as well. And there's time today to take the time to talk to your friends or to meet somebody new and talk to them. Because this is a, this is a day where we have just a little bit of extra time to do that to spend time with each other and to enjoy each other's company. Thank you all for coming. Um, thank you all for coming today um, for a day of, in celebration of our wonderful queen. Uh, Festival of the Rose is a great event. This is one of those events where the arts, our, our fantastic artisans of our kingdom are on display. Um, so I encourage you all to Look at all the artistic displays today. You know, uh, speak with the artisans if, if it's something you're interested in. Uh, this is one of the events for a few of us we really get to do that. Um, we were at uh, Talent Crescent last week, and I like to say Talent Crescent was a fantastic event. If you went, if you went, if you didn't go, you missed out. You should go next year. Uh, it was we had a wonderful time. The people of Artemisia are generous and warm and a lot of fun to party with. <laughs> That's all. The event steward, Lady Ariana, has business before this court. tons of gorgeous items out on display. So, all right, some information about the site. First off, it is a dry site, it's a Methodist church. Um, parking information, the lot, the row closest this way is only three hours. All the other rows are eight hours. So if you're in the three hours, find a friend, go out and switch your cars around. <laughs> All right, bathrooms for the ladies are just down the hall here. And for the, male, for the men, straight through, which is where our scriptorium is as well, too. Um, come to the pretty thing. <laughs> <laughs> it can get really crowded. <laughs> OK, gate is just down the hall. And they are also sell, um, have the tickets for the wonderful donation lunch that Selene, Dame Selene is creating in the kitchen. Also in the kitchen, we have this place for our culinary entries. Please see Lady Cinda over there. Um, today we are also having our bardic performances. Please see the lovely Lady Brianna about that. We are also having a poetry contest. It's run, being run by Mistress Ludmilla, right there, and the theme by Her, um, Her Majesty's um, pick is Generosity. Down on the end, we have our lovely ANS displays, and um, <laughs> Catherine Hoffwood is helping to run those. We also, if you did not bring uh, appreciation tokens, we have some there for our donations that will also go into the Kingdom Travel <coughs> Fund. Let's see, outside, we have our merchants. Please go, spend money, they will love you. We also have Fiber Play Day up behind there, where there will be spinning, weaving, kumohimo, and Viking, Viking whipcord braid, run by um, Therese White Griffin, Sean Michael Patrick, and Lynette. Um, I think that is just about all. Um, many of our entries for the Bardic and the ANS, there is also a... Uh, oh, yes! <laughs> Sorry! There, um, Mary John Tom is also running pew reader casting demonstrations out there and how to choose. Come and make a spoon. Yes. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot one of the most important things. There is a coffee bar down at the end of the hall being run by Dame Amy Swan. Not just a coffee bar. Coffee bar. Coffee bar. Coffee bar. Coffee bar. Coffee bar. 
<laughs> so for the Bardic and the ANS entries, there will also be a People's Choice voting. So see about getting some tokens and letting people know what you think. So I hope you all have a fun day today. And I know I'm going to have fun looking at all the entries and hearing all the beautiful pieces we perform. Thank you. Thank you. Her Majesty's Champions have a presentation. My champions have discovered to my great delight that um, I am very fond of the flowers of the desert. And each piece they bring me is lovely and will fit in with the other the set that I received last week. Thank you so very much. Thank you. What is it, Your Majesty? It is a it is a, a uh, an aeonium. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's a plant. It's a <laughs> and it has yellow flowers. <laughs> The Verity of Calafia has a presentation. I know the name of that one too. <laughs> it's a plan. <laughs> I call it pretty. <laughs> I think you'd be getting a lot of yellow roses, roses so you might appreciate something. <laughs> Thank you so very much. This one is a bromeliad and it grows in the jungle. Uh, and we also have... It's related to pineapple, Nico. Yellow rose oh, oh that's very nice. Left it in with the packing material. Packing material. Yeah. Thank you so very much. And saving that for a special one. Thank you. Enjoy your there will be tea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. This one is related to pineapple. <laughs> That's pineapple yellow. But it's related. There you go. There the yes, I did say no. that because it's true. <laughs> Their Majesties request the presence of Valeria Cabrielli. Is she out with the scribes? I haven't seen her yet this morning. Yeah, I don't think she's on site. Sure. Okay. Didn't hear anything, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were reminded that letters of intent for Crown will be accepted till the 14th of March. If you would like to uh, describe up a uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> After one I received the telecrest, you are more than welcome to. However, we still need the, the actual, letter, actual letter of that. Feel free to be quite creative as for all of For uh, Surrender and Amelia Ariane, uh, at the bottom of their letter, it says, Stick Figure Art Available Upon the Class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mistress Ketter Chia has an announcement. Um, you are probably sick of hearing me talk to you guys, but Pentathlon is coming, Pentathlon is coming, Pentathlon is coming. Um, so every time you get to see me up here, I get to tell you really cool things that are going to be happening. Um, we are very excited. We're down to the final stretches of the event planning. Um, so Pentathlon and the Arts and Sciences competition are being held in conjunction with CP C Prize this year. Um, so we have a weekend-long camping event. Um, lots of cool things are going to be going on. There's going to be fighting. There's going to be tourneys. There's going to be dancing. There's going to be lots and lots and lots of cool arts and sciences stuff happening. Um, displays, the competition, a People's Choice Prize. Um, there's going to be people doing demonstrations throughout the day. Um, so there's going to be a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff for everyone to enjoy the weekend. Um, we're going to be at Chinook Park, which is the Highland War Site. The weekend of March 13th, um, so just a couple of weeks away. Um, the site will open on Thursday evening for camping. Um, so if you want to stay Thursday night, and then be there on Friday. Um, and then the site will go through Sunday. 
So there's um, could you ask Assessa, please come and join us. Um, if you have, if you're entering the competition side of things, or if you are a judge, um, Mistress Carey is here um, nailing down judges, so be on the lookout for her. Um, but if you are a judge or an entrant and want to see copies of the judging forms for your categories, um, please email me, get in touch with me, and I will get them over to you so you can see them ahead of the event. Um, we're looking forward to seeing everybody there. Thank you. Thank you.